All right, good afternoon, motherfuckers. I almost fall over. I'm taking the day off, goddammit. I, I just want to fucking hike today. I don't want to fucking film. Woke up, thunderstorming and shit. I couldn't operate the camera anyway. It's dried up, sun shining now. But that is uh, Lehigh down there. Just climb up Lehigh Gap. That fucking climb was gnarly as hell with the wet fucking rocks. I didn't sign up for fucking rock climbing, motherfucker. I signed up for hiking. That was fucking, I think I might have pissed myself hiking up that shit. But we're up here. I got a hell of a fucking view. The sun is shining, like I said now. I just want to fucking hike. I'm going to do 20 today. We'll check back in with you tomorrow if it's not fucking raining. But I need a fucking t a day off. We'll holler at you motherfuckers. Morning, you motherfucking sunshines. All right, fuckers. Sorry, not sorry for not filming yesterday. A couple reasons. Eating a massive Snickers bar for breakfast, by the way get to that in a minute but reasons why I didn't want to film yesterday number one woke up thunderstorm it was one of the gnarliest thunderstorms I've ever been through in my life it was fucking like a half hour straight fucking you can feel the hair in your goddamn arms lifting up from the goddamn lightning and shit it was scary shit so I just hunkered down in my tent um, for like two hours to let this shit pass um, finally got out of my tent it was still a light rain when I got out of my tent packed up it wasn't until 10 a.m. and I got going and I had to push 20 because it was 40 miles to uh, Delaware Gap and that's about all the food I got. So I did I did do 20 yesterday. I didn't get started until 10, 10 a.m. So it was like I didn't want to fucking stop and film. It would just take me longer. So I had to push that 20 miles. I actually didn't roll until camp just be, until just before dark last night. Uh, second reason I want to film was water shortage, man. This stretch of trail is fucking shitty for water. I have two and a half about almost three liters on me right now um that's got to make me to wind gap 13.7 miles uh, but yesterday it was a long fucking stretch it was hot as shit after the rain stopped um and it was just nothing but rock boulder climbing that climb out of lehigh gap um was just fucking rock climbing basically and i just had to haul ass and get to the fucking water luckily i had a gap yesterday Somebody had left water for through hikers. There was like fucking six gallons and a whole case of uh, these guys here. So without that, that, that was all of our fucking saving grace. Everybody was out of fucking water. Water sources are dried the fuck up right now. So we got almost three liters. Get an early start today. It's like 7 a.m. right now. We'll pack up here shortly. Um, get the wind gap and get some water. And then we'll push the 20 into Delaware Gap. At least narrow, probably take a zero. Um, getting out of Pennsylvania finally, and um, I gotta rest my fucking feet. My feet are just annihilated after all these goddamn rocks. So, eat my goddamn Snickers, we'll be on the fucking trail. We'll do some filming today. Uh, hell yeah. Fucking never ceases to amaze me how well the human body can recover. What you guys didn't see yesterday, filming, not filming. The last three miles, I did 20 yesterday to get into camp. The last three miles, I could barely fucking take another step. These rocks have destroyed my goddamn feet, and I was wincing in agony every fucking step for the last three miles, just moving at a snail's fucking pace. It just took fucking forever. I could barely crawl out of my fucking tent last night. And then you go to bed, you get eight hours of sleep, wake up, and it's like, let's fucking do another 20 miles. It's amazing. The human body is a fucking machine. And to do this day in and day out and put it through so much fucking bullshit and pain for it to bounce back like this is just 
mind boggling. Pretty fucking impressive. Ugh, rocks are not giving up today. They're holding on to the last fucking minute. But uh, last night, I was reading through some comments. My uh, 1,000 mile video came out last night. And, um, the, you know, in that video, you guys saw me get emotional as shit when I hit that 1,000 mile mark. Well, there's reasons for that. And uh, reading through the comments last night, it was awesome for the, the support uh, for that. And people not giving me shit. Uh, the fucker broke down. Well, you guys know I'm a fucking human goddamn being. I do what everybody else does. I, I fucking hurt and I feel emotional out here sometimes. The main reasons for that is, number one, I just fucking love hiking. This is my favorite fucking thing to do in the world, and I get to do it every fucking day. It's just a, a dream come true every fucking day. On top of that, hitting a milestone like 1,000, for me, I mean, I've been through so much goddamn shit in my life, mainly getting sober. Um, I, I've mentioned before, it was the hardest fucking thing for me. And I, I never thought I'd live to see 30, and now I'm going on 30 be 38 this year um it's just it's life is fucking gravy at this point you know like i said i didn't think i lived to see 30 and i didn't choose that necessarily it's not like when you're a little kid and your parents say what do you want to be when you grow up oh, i want to be a fucking alcoholic now you don't obviously say that but you're dealt shit cards in life i have a tattoo of the seven deuce on my back of my arm which is if you're familiar with texas holding poker it's the worst hand you can be dealt in texas holding poker the seven deuce well, sometimes we're dealt shit cards in life. It's it's how you fucking deal with those cards that makes you who who the fuck you are. I mean, you can either say, I'll oh, fuck this and fold, or you can put on a kick-ass poker face and take the goddamn pot. And that's kind of how I live life these days. I'm dealt shit cards all the fucking time. It's like you suck it up, you deal with it, and you move the fuck on. Also, to go along with that, I live life with an enormous fucking chip on my shoulder. I constantly look back at all the motherfuckers that said I can't do this and I couldn't do that. You'll never fucking get sober. You'll never hike the fucking Appalachian Trail. I live with that chip on my shoulder every fucking day. Some say that might not be healthy. I think it's healthy as fuck. Because it keeps me determined as all hell on a daily fucking basis. Especially out here on this grind. Doing it every fucking day in pain and agony. I use that as fucking fuel for this fucking trail a lot of the times. So when I hit a milestone like 1,000, I got fucking emotional as shit because I thought back at all those motherfuckers that said I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. Well, here I am, motherfucker. Where the fuck are you at? Live with a goddamn chip on your shoulder. It's healthy sometimes. Especially when you go through fucking pain. Physically and mentally. Keep pushing north, man. Keep fucking pushing north. Hi, motherfuckers. Hiker Center for AT Hikers. Welcome. Church of Mount Hiker Center. Fuck. My feet are done, dude. Heard thunder over that fucking mountain. As soon as I got a look at the Delaware River, I heard fucking thunder. I ran down that fucking mountain to beat it. And I just fucking did. I can just pack off, find a bunk. We'll get onto the fucking outfitter. Holy fuck, man. Ah, oh, Jesus, motherfucking Jesus. <laughs> oh shit. All right, fuckers, we're at the uh, church hostel. Getting some Jesus. Jesus is nowhere to be found. But, went and picked up a package. This is from one of my coworkers, Megan. Appreciate it, we're gonna open this bitch up. Supposedly it's a resupply. See what she fucking sent me. Holy shit. Megan, let's see how you did here. Holy fuck. I'll eat those right a fucking way. That is not going to see the trail. 
M&M's, staple. These things I crave now. <laughs> this is when you know a uh, weekend warrior sends you food because they send you a big ass container of coffee. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I'll divvy this up into baggies. Get pepperoni, tortillas, hell yes. Oatmeal, ramen up the ass, on. tuna, and the money shot right there. Megan, thank you very much. You did good, girly. Oh, by the way, I had to go down to the fucking outfitter and pick up darn tufts because these things don't last forever. I have holes in all four pair of my darn tufts. 40 bucks for fucking socks. I ain't gonna bother sending them back. I'm gonna fucking relax. So I'll holler at you motherfuckers in the morning.